Welcome to Tech Assembler, and in this tutorial, we will be discussing about iron segments. So let's begin. Segment segments are just a group of related buttons, like normal buttons, and so, sometimes they are also known as segmented controls, and it can be displayed on a horizontal uh, row. Okay, so the their functionality is just similar to the tabs. We are selecting one will deselect all others segments are useful for toggling between different views inside this content area or you can say the inside iron content area so uh, in this we will see how we can place the segments on our header or you can say anywhere in this display panel so let's see okay so i just have a uh, page folder inside that I just created a page segment name page and here you can find the command uh, that is and G for generate page pages and segments so this is how what we have created and I just quickly show you how the segments work so iron dash segments okay so this is the default template you can see the value is by default it is pizza or you can say anything and you need to specify the segment button iron segment button for example you want two buttons like one or two so once you click on pizza so it will show you the pizza thing and once you click on the pasta so it will toggle the button and show you the pasta so this is the iron change function we'll be using to change or to toggle the segment button and let's see how it looks and it looks like this so this is the pasta and the pizza so i already created the change segment name function over here it is nothing i pass over there the event and event dot target dot value will get the value and if you not getting this how we just find the value so please go and watch my previous video uh, there i told you in the briefly about event dot target dot values so how we are getting the events so this is how it works so it just toggles the thing and for example if you want to use the ios button over here so you just need to specify the mode and that equals to ios and just save so it will turn to ios button so simply it will look like this and one more thing that uh, I just reverted back I want to use it in my header so in my header if I place inside the toolbar like this and paste and see okay I just delete it from here and see how it looks so it looks like a little creepy but this is the header means segment is gone somewhat up so for that I use a different iron toolbar okay so I just use the toolbar new toolbar and I just delete this code okay fine sorry I just delete this code and paste it over here and save so how it looks and it looks now perfect so this is our header and this is the pizza and pasta so uh, if you are getting some content over here whenever you scroll so it will stuck in the header only it will not move so this is what we have done over here we just took another <coughs> toolbar and nothing else and now we want to toggle it so for that I will use the iron card or you can use anything but I prefer iron card and mm, let's see card full okay or I will take two cards because we have two buttons and here I will use NGF so this is a directive what we are using NGF and I you just write something selected segment over here equals to equals to and in a small so or in a single inverted comma I write just pizza make sure that you write this value 
not the lab label value okay and I just copy it and place it over here and just change it pasta or I can make it over here also know the title pasta or here pizza so this will work only way yeah, I just need to add one more variable over here so private and it is of type string and I need to give this value to over here so event dot target sorry target dot value okay so let's see it works or not I am sure it will work definitely so uh, but when I refresh on means very first time it will not show anything so why because it will not get uh, the value of selected segments so I just hard code it over here pizza oh, the first one was pizza yeah pizza and now see so by default it is pizza and this is how you can change the things on your this over the iron content so this is the simple work you can perform over here and I just had a few more things I already coded and just replace this thing with this hold my code and show you the different ways of using segments so this is the what we have discussed just now this pasta burger and pizza so if you want to disable this pizza so you just need to type over here is disabled okay or you can make it equals to true or you just need to type disabled only so it will be disabled uh, like this so and if you want to change the color so you just need to specify the color over here like this what I just change the color to the ternary or to the success uh, I will show you okay so this is how we can change the color overall color of the particular segment so this is how I change the color and here I use the mode okay the mode which I used is <coughs> iOS so it will look like this so you can see you can specify these small small segments over a sections like here on a side you want to use this kind of a segment so you can use <coughs> or you can use the scrollable segments like you have a number of list over here of iron segment buttons so you just need to type the scrollable or you can just type scrollable uh, equals to and just true so okay sorry I okay scrollable equals to true so it will enable the scroll functionality over here so this is how you can use the scrollable if you have many items then it will look like this it will scroll and if you have icons only so you can just specify over here this is the way you can give the segments and with the value name and the icon for example you have uh, something like a, a text and an icon so you can just place it over here like this inside the iron segment button one label and another thing is the icon icon name and you need to specify over here by default the layout is somewhat like this the text is at the bottom and the icon is at the top so to reverse the order you need to specify the layout and layout over all these iron segment button so make sure that you don't miss the layout on each of the iron segment button so uh, it will look like this the call will go up and the icon will come down and if same the same thing you can do with the call icon on the right side so you just need to specify the icon dash end so it will give you to the end so this is how and by default you want to select some value so you can specify over here 
like value equals to map so by default the map value is being selected so this is all about ion segments so this is how you can toggle the ion segments in my next coming video i can show you how you can make the swappable ta tabs by using segments and slides so stay tuned thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates